What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Redemption with Jaden. Big time news in Redemption right now, or big, I don't know, it's not really news, but it's, I mean, there is some some pretty sweet news that's going on in Redemption right now. Um, I guess it's, some of it's sweet, some of it's bittersweet. Uh, we got word this week through Rob M Studios, his kind of little surprise uh, package from Chris and the, the video that he did about that with the new starter decks that will be coming out um, at, at Nationals, I guess, is kind of the, the soft release, which we found out from John Hendricks's podcast, which came out uh, the day before, the, d the day after, Tuesday, two days ago, if you're watching this on the day that this is coming out. So that's a lot of exciting stuff going on, uh, a lot of hype leading up to Nationals. Uh, but with that, we found out that we are losing a couple things. Uh, we are losing the Teal Brigade, uh, which is a little bit sad because some of the best cards in the game are Teal. Um, okay, well, it's it's okay. Um, I, we don't know exactly what it's going to look like uh, for net or from like this point, like how the old cards are going to be affected. Uh, it seems like it's probably just going to be like a new. Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of like a new era or kind of like segment. Like eventually, you know, now right now there's rotation, which is pretty much everything from I and J forward. So maybe at some point there is going to be another uh, format, which would just be everything from K and L forward, and um, that's kind of what it seems like is, is probably going to happen. It's kind of a speculation at that point; it hasn't been confirmed, but. Keep an eye on the Discord. I assume that things will, the light will be shed on things as we go. Um, but not only are we losing teal, we are also losing evil gold. And so each of those is kind of being absorbed by another brigade. So teal is kind of being absorbed by clay, which was previously reserved for, you know, early church stuff, uh, things regarding the Holy Spirit mostly. Um, and I think it kind of makes sense that priests kind of get that, uh, you know, get, get absorbed by Holy Spirit stuff. Like they, they were doing the, uh, the Lord's work in the Old Testament, uh, doing kind of the atonement for sins and everything. So I think that that, that fits and, and makes sense. Um, and then evil gold is seemingly being removed to kind of simplify things because we have good gold and we have evil gold and it's just like, you know, it's a little bit confusing. Cards that just say gold are a little bit ambiguous and also, it, I mean, it takes up card text if you have to say, you know, good gold or evil gold. Um, so it just makes it a lot easier to uh, you know, streamline things if we have, if we, if we don't have brigades that are the same on offense and defense. So, um, what we know so far is that one of the starter decks will have uh, kind of an Exodus offense with um, you know clay priests of, of some sort, like you know like Jethro, probably a few other uh, you know random priests in there, um, and then white heroes, which Exodus has been already uh, you know white mostly. Um, it's kind of been their brigade for, or the kind of the, the go-to brigade for Exodus heroes. And um, Ward has it that we're going to see a new Moses in there, so that's pretty cool. And then the defense for that deck is going to be uh, Philistines, which are, they're staying black, so don't worry about that part. Um, but it's it's basically the, I mean, the what's been hinted at is that it's... Uh, the starter decks will be called Israel's Deliverance. That's a working title. Uh, so it'll be basically the uh, good Exodus dudes versus pale green Egyptians. And then in that deck with the pale green Egyptians, it's going to be like first Samuel heroes versus the Philistines. So um, kind of how, you know, David liberated Israel from the Israelites and Moses liberated Israel from Egypt. And it's going to be really cool. Um, go check out Rob M Studios for that video and Threshing Floor Podcast for um, that podcast um, and a little bit of information from John sitting down with Chris and Gabe and, and getting um, big information drop there uh, as well as some stuff about Nationals. So 
anyways, that's a lot, I know. Um, but now the big thing, the, the kind of more relevant to the right now thing that's going on in Redemption is we've had these GOC cards, well, at least some people have had the, the GOC cards from the first print run uh, of Phase 1 in hand, um, but now we have them on Lackey, so we're going to be you know, able to, to feature them on the channel more prominently. We've seen a, a couple of them on the channel so far, at least, you know, we saw Harvest Time already, uh, which is a prominent feature of this deck, let me tell you. Um, and we're going to try it out, see what cool things we can come up with, and um, this deck right here is certainly not going to be the least of the things that we come up with on the channel here. Um, so... It is going to be the first, though, haha, <laughs> with the GOC and INJ Plus cards, uh, because when I saw this Lost Soul, which is an INJ Plus card that uh, just came out with the new starter decks, I, I was able to pick up a few of those as well. Here, I'll, I'll show you a, a physical copy. So fancy. Wow. Go grab your INJ Plus cards today at uh, your online retailers. I suppose I should probably plug your turn games right here, because I make contender decks for them, so... You can go get those from Derek over there. Um, anyways, this Lost Soul says, If put in play and all of your other Lost Souls are meek, you may draw one and top deck this card. Now, before I, I talk about this, little disclaimer, I didn't play test this card, okay? I I play tested GOC stuff, but I didn't know about this, this uh, the INJ Plus cards until all of the, the public did. So, this isn't on me, but this card... I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's it's it is a little bit you know could be could fall back on you a little bit or it has uh, the potential to just get stuck in play if you like draw it by itself with no other meek lost souls or if it's negated and doesn't really do anything. But and then it kind of messes up your meek lost soul unity if you're if you're on that. But if you're doing it like this, then wow. Uh, my my first interaction or my my first thought I guess was to um, just shove in a bunch of cards that say draw one because then you basically can replace all of them with draw two uh, as long as you have the first out. So cards like Psychar, which hint hint the Jeshua of GOC in my opinion, uh, this this card is probably my favorite card from the set so far at least. We'll we'll see if that sticks around with phase two. Um, but it says the, the fortress side, the, the side side is, is, is fine. Um, but the fortress side says if one or more cards you do not own are reserved, you may draw one. So, uh, we're going to be having a lot of cards that reserve cards in here so that we can get triggers off of Psychar. Um, we also have high places with, which, you know, fits with all of the, the meat claw soul stuff. And... I'll get back to that in a minute. Actually, I want to I talk about some of the other draw one stuff first before kind of circling back to high places. We've got Melchizedek who says once per turn, if your good king, priest, or cloud hero enters battle, you may search a deck for your lost soul. Lost souls under my draw one. So you search your own deck for the first, put it in play. You get to draw one and top deck the first, and then you get to draw one from Melchizedek, which is the first. So you put the first into play. Uh, you draw the card to replace the first, and then you draw a card from the first, and you put the first back on your deck. And this basically means that Melchizedek says, if your good king, good priest, or cloud hero enters battle, you may draw three. That seems pretty good. Um, and then, similarly, Harvest Season is another card that does this, except it's on each of your upkeep. You, upkeeps, you get to play a lost soul from a deck to draw one, which, you know, if you play the first, you get to draw three. Kingdoms of the World is also pretty good. You get to play a Lost Soul and an evil character from your deck. That's a new GOC card, so um, that's a fun one that will probably be in different decks, but it didn't quite make the cut in this one, along with Harvest Season, um, because as we went, we were I, I realized, like, okay, this deck doesn't need those ones because they're a little bit slow, and this deck uh, could, theoretically, not necessarily always, but relatively consistently deck out on turn one. So, we just took out all of the the one the cards that like aren't as consistent, and um, you know, or at least the ones that won't work on turn one, and pretty much just very hard streamlined the deck 
to uh, to go for a, a turn one deck out. So uh, I guess the last one to mention here, Faith of Joseph, definitely an underrated card, but uh, it was played in um, the the Coney Children of Light deck back in 2017 um, because it was just you know another way to get through cards in your deck. You play a whole bunch of enhancements on your Children of Light, you get to draw a whole bunch of cards. That's kind of how that whole deck worked and. Um, Basically now, it's just a territory class enhancement that says draw two with the first, as, as long as the first is on top. So, um, yeah, that kind of helps us get through the deck a little bit more. Um, maybe not absolutely necessary, but I think that it is, uh, it was worth, you know, trying out the deck, and you know, uh, I think it's pretty decent. Um, yeah, so, big thing, big big thing. A lot of people were like, okay, harvest time, sweet. With high places, that means you could draw like seven cards. You put all of your meek lost souls into play, and then you you get to draw seven cards. Like, wow, that's really good. Type two, you get to draw 14 cards. Wow, that's awesome. So, but what I figured out as I was kind of drawing uh, goldfishing with the deck in its earlier stages where I was like, oh, just, you know, do all the little draw one stuff each turn, Sea of Glass, and uh, that was another one that I forgot to mention, Sea of Glass, uh, Four Living Creatures, um, there's maybe another one, but basically all the cards that are like on your upkeep, you can draw one or, you know, do something, and uh, if you just draw two instead, you know, you just place through your deck as long as the first is not negated or whatever. Anyways, with the first, Harvest Time, you play all of your Lost Souls, you have High Places out, means you get to draw 2x plus 1, which, um, where x is the number of meek lost souls that you put in play. So in this deck, I've got 6 meek lost souls. If my opponent has any meek lost souls, then, you know, that can add to it. But just with my deck, as long as all of my lost souls are in my deck, that means that I can draw up to 13 cards just by playing Harvest Time and having high places out. The reason this works, so you put all of your lost souls in play, High places triggers a whole bunch of times, but you can do the first first. Let's put in play all of your Lost Souls or Meek. You draw one, top deck it. The first trigger of high places lets you draw the top card, which means you draw the first, and then the, and then the card behind it to replace it, or beneath it. Um, and then you draw one from the first and top deck it as because you activate the Lost Souls ability as a part of resolving the draw. So that just means for each loss, Meek Lost Soul you put in play, you're... Uh, drawing two instead of one. So if you're doing them all at the same time, it's a lot of cards you get to draw. Uh, so what does this mean for this deck? Well, it just means that if we have a whole bunch of ways to search out harvest time and or high places, um, well I guess and high places, we, get, we have to have both in order for this to work, um, then we just get to draw a whole bunch of cards and if we get that huge draw and we're probably going to be able to get through the rest of our deck with all of the other searching cards and the drawing with Psychar and the drawing off of all the other stuff that we put in here, like Pretension, which also draws off of Psychar if your opponent has a hero that you can reserve. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, High Priest Plot lets you reserve a card from your opponent's hand. You get to draw a card from there. Teach Comparables, same thing. Um... And yeah, so there's a whole bunch of stuff that draws and searches, and then if we do happen to deck out on turn one, then our play is going to be uh, impartial judgment with awesome things and just completely try to obliterate your opponent's hand. And if you can do that, and you can kind of uh, control what they draw with things like False Prophecy, maybe Balaam's Prophecy if you don't have to use it to... Um, you know, go fishing for cards and drawing a bunch with Jeshua, then uh, you can, it's it's kind of like another love at first sight, or love at the first sight, haha. <laughs> um, yeah, it can be a little bit ridiculous, uh, and I think definitely, I mean, uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff now to search for good cards. We've got Salmon's Dream, Plumline, Spirit as a Dove, Mace Road to go get Dream or Plumline, um, so we've got lots of options there for getting to harvest time, um, even second coming in a pinch. I wouldn't recommend it because you'd still have to rescue five lost souls after decking out, and that can be kind of tough. Um, 
we also have Crowd's Choice, which was basically made for a deck like this, and not only can it grab Harvest Time, but it can grab High Places, which is kind of the more tricky one, so we've got ways to search for that, like Wages of Sin is kind of the big one, uh, lets you search for it, and then Surreptitious Scheme, which lets you take an evil New Testament card from Reserve or Deck if you control a Meek Lost Soul, so as long as we control a Meek Lost Soul, which usually we will, hopefully, uh, you can search for Wages of Sin, which lets you search for High Places, Conversely, if we have a bunch of Meek Lost Souls and we need to underdeck them before playing Harvest Time with High Places out, then we can play Wages of Sin to search for Surreptitious Scheme because it also says discard a good card in battle, and then we can use that to search for Burial and play Burial, underdeck all our Lost Souls, then play Harvest Time. It's great. Um, as long as you don't draw the first in your opening eight with no other Lost Souls, then you should be golden. Um, you know, obviously you have to kind of get lucky with the draw a little bit, you have to get some of the pieces to fall in the right place, and you also have to, uh, win the die roll, <laughs> get to go first. Uh, sometimes your opponent will let you go first, and sometimes they won't do anything that would really hinder what you're working on on the first turn. Um, but getting to go first is really going to help because it doesn't really let your opponent get stuff set up, you know, you're working with their eight hand, or eight card hand uh, as your your canvas for wreaking havoc on their fun. Um, so if we're really trying to deck out in the first turn, then this whole reserve doesn't really matter as far as trying to get us there. So that means we're just going to put a whole bunch of uh, punch into the reserve here. This is how we're going to uh, win the race, I guess, uh, to five after decking out, um, because we can just get stuff like Coming Prince to recycle Teaching in Parables or First Sacrifice. Persistent Widow can also recycle Teaching in Parables. Jeremiah can really do a number on your opponent if they don't have, uh, you know, very many evil cards because you just played Impartial Judgment. So you can, yeah, really deal with a lot of what they've got going on usually as long as you you plan accordingly and just some other kind of support cards and then a whole bunch of evil enhancements that can do a lot of damage um don't necessarily know if you need all of these evil enhancements in here uh probably would be better to at least have one or two more battle winners as kind of like uh, or on the good side uh, as part of like a way to actually get to five in case your opponent has a decent recovery turn and can actually, you know, scrounge up some blocks or whatever. Um, but there's definitely some merit to having a few cards in here that you can just not really care about with Voice from Heaven and uh, slow down your opponent that way by taking out some of their key options from their reserve. So um, that's one I decided to try out in here. Don't know if it necessarily needs to be in here. Might be better as Vain Vision to kind of help attack my opponent's deck, or, well, stack my opponent's deck a little bit more, and control their draw to make sure that they don't get, like, anything too good. Um, but this deck isn't necessarily optimized. It's uh, it's already in a pretty good spot, but it probably could be better, especially the reserve. Um, so, you know, uh, I'll leave it to you guys to figure that out, because I just wanted to get this out here because um, a lot of people were talking about high places and meek lost souls in the first and harvest time and <clears throat> it was all i mean I, i'm sure other people have already kind of figured this out and uh, i did share it with a couple of people before the video coming out um but now it's out it's official maybe they'll change it i don't know we're gonna go ahead and show you this game that i played against rob smith who brought his uh, one of his kind of fresh GOC builds uh, that's uh, already been toyed around with a little bit on Discord by uh, a few people, at least. Um, uh, Gold and Pharisees, two new GOC Phase 1 themes, so it'll be kind of fun to see those and see uh, some fresh cards in the meta, in the game, and everything. Fresh cards, awesome. Let's do it. Get into the game. All right, let's see what I got here. Ooh, that was close. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I drew another lost soul with my uh, with mine though. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> um. 
All right. Wow. Do a do a roll here. <clears throat> All right, you roll. There's my roll button already. All right. Um, I guess I will choose to go first. Sure. Uh, so I will. Let's uh, let's hit your tap card with delivered. Alrighty. Let's see. Nice. It's a, it's a decent hit. <clears throat> that is unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, I feel like weren't uh, weren't John and Brad talking about that on the podcast this last week about how something about the lackey shuffler if you're using delivered you're always going to get it in the opening hand uh, yeah they were and it's very <laughs> yeah every time i play delivered i get it first time or exiles if i'm playing that lost soul <laughs> yep yep <laughs> all right you got any stars uh, i do um so it's actually Let's go ahead and reserve the top card of your deck. All right. Solomon's Dream. All right, and then... I actually, it's kind of funny, but I actually have one more. So I'm going to underdeck my Emmaus Road back. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a pro level pr play right there. Yeah, that's... <laughs> And that's all my stars. All right. Uh, I will use the first and just draw one and top deck it. Yep. Um. <clears throat> all right. So we'll go ahead and get started here. To put down a face down artifact. Mm hmm. Um. Let's. Let's see here. Let's put down a Melchizedek. Okay. And play Faith. Mm hmm. Mm. All right. Just gotta figure out, remember what all my options here are. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, don't you love when you first have a deck build and you have your you use one of your tutor cards you're like okay then what can I actually yep, get with yep. it's like <laughs> alright I'm, I'm here what do I get I think I get Noah that seems pretty good yeah no, we'll hang on to him for now uh, we'll play delivered mm -hmm. go ahead and activate myself a Denarius. Nice. And I'll take a Nero from deck. Mm hmm. And we'll go ahead and put him down, and I think I'm going to go for the draw three. Mm hmm. John's favorite delivered okay. target. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <clears throat> Plenty of lost souls, but one of them is the first, so we'll draw one and top deck it. <laughs> it's um, a shame that corn wives in my hand to block you, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Um. I think the best move here is actually just going to be to play Crowd's Choice. Mmm, nice. That's good. And we'll go find ourselves a Jeshua. Nice. Yeah, gotta, always gotta have a way to get him first turn. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> that's, and you've been pretty consistent with whatever deck you play to get him, so. Yep, yep. And we'll play a Balaam's Prophecy. Reveal mm -hmm. my top six. Nice. That is not very many good cards. No. Um, but I will take Surreptitious Scheme, which is a star card. And then I will top deck the rest. Um, let's 
go. We'll just go with this order. Get that muscle out of the way. Oops. Okay. And draw two from Joshua. Right, and then uh, let's put down the Sanhedrin, and we'll play Surreptitious Scheme to take an evil New Testament card from my deck. Hmm. Which is going to be Wages. Nice. And I will play that oh. to search for high places. And then I'll go ahead and put that down. Um, yeah, I think we just... I'm go pretty for it sure here. half of your deck is gone, Jaden. Well, it's only half so far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play Burial and I'm going to uh, underdeck all of my meat holes here. Oh, uh, okay. I um, thought you were going to... What's that? I thought you were going to deck mine, I'm just hoping. Well, I could, but I, sh I don't think I'll necessarily need to. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put down a Meek Noah. Put down mm -hmm. Aliens. Um, what are the odds that all of your Lost Souls are Meek? Probably pretty good, right? Um, I'll play Son of God to rescue your Lost Soul. Sure. And then I'm going to play Harvest Time. And I'm going to select seven. Alrighty. So I'll go ahead and grab mine out first here. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> and seven. I'll go over to your deck. You called it. And there they are. Yeah, one, two. Ooh, but you made the fatal mistake of including a hopper. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four, five, six. And did you put enough fossils in your deck here? Seven. Yep. yep. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah, that hopper, that last minute add. I'm kind of regretting that right now. <laughs> so what's um what's going to happen here? The way that the first interacts with high places. Um. So the uh, the first will will trigger that first. Mm -hmm. so I will draw one in top deck the first, and then for the first trigger of a meek lost soul coming into play, I will draw one from the top, uh, which is the first, so I'll draw one to replace it, mm -hmm. and then the first will trigger again, so I'll draw one top deck the first, uh, then next lost soul, so I will draw the first, draw one, top deck it, uh, the other wow. lost soul, I will draw one, I'll draw one and top deck it, one, uh, the next one, uh, draw one, top deck it, next one, uh, I'll draw one, draw one, top deck it, next one, draw one, Draw one and top deck the first. Uh, and now I'm at a hand limit, so I guess I can't draw off of uh, off of yours here. Oh well, that's that's a shame. <laughs> Real bummer. Um, you sh you should feel ashamed of yourself that you couldn't get your whole deck empty. <laughs> oh hey, there's still time for that. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're only halfway there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put down a. Sycar is a fortress. Yep. Uh, I will uh, put down another 
artifact, put down a St. Patrick, play Faith of Joseph, draw one, which is the first, so I'll draw one, tap deck it, play set in territory. Mm -hmm. um, I'll play Teaching in Parables, I guess negate my Sanhedrin, and I'll reserve an evil card from your hand. Sure. See what you got here. Oh boy. <laughs> Lots of options, but no evil characters, so I guess that's good. Um, but there's a burial, so I can't do a dominant. Alright. Um, so I guess we'll do your shield. Okay. And then, because of Sycar, I will draw one, mm -hmm. which is the first. So I will draw one, top deck it. Um, then I will, let's see, I'll play High Priest Plot to reserve a good card from your hand. Mm hmm. Hmm. I feel like I'm playing Redemption wrong. <laughs> yeah, you didn't go first. That was what's wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to reserve the Persistent Widow. Yep. Uh, there we go. And draw one off of Sycar. Just the first. So I'll draw one and top deck it. Um, let's see. And that protects... Equal all souls and my evil cards from good cards for this phase, I guess. So uh, we'll put down a plotting priests. Um, let's see. I really need to do that. All right, I'll play an Emmaus Road. Mm -hmm. Missing somebody, so I'll go grab Zerubbabel. Pull that in. I'll put down Akeem the Compiler. Put down to Supercilious Scribes. Um, I will play the first sacrifice to Underdeck Burial. Yep. And then I will um sure just to, to really make sure we actually do it, I'll play Spirit as a Dove to search my deck for Maze Road. Mm-hmm. And um Yeah, then I'm going to go to my rescue attempt. Uh, I will go with Zerubbabel. I'll convert mm -hmm. him to Meek to draw two at the first. So I will just top deck it. Um, we, we officially got there. <laughs> yeah, you, you did. I, I'm seriously impressed. <laughs> uh, then I will just, I guess, ban to Jeshua and we'll play. Uh, well, I guess you don't have any evil characters, so... Hmm. -mm. I don't know. Is it worth it? Yeah, I might as well. Uh, I'll play the first... Or I'll play Awesome Things to play Impartial Judgment. Sure. And then how many meeks do you have? Uh, one, two, three. Four. Alright, that, yeah, that's enough to hit all mine. Cool. thought I did my math right, but... Just making sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, uh, you're gonna just get the hopper. <laughs> Sweet. Um, then I will play Second Coming. I'll go grab Son of God. Yep. And we'll rescue the first. Yep. Oops, that one. Uh, these go here. Um... MD deck and three souls turn one. I, I'm... 
I mean, I'd, I'd hope I could at least do something uh, if, if I was decking out, you know, if I got at least a few spells. Yeah, if you went through all that and then I blocked, I kind of would be like... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to play False Prophecy to look at your top six. Sure. Uh, others top six. Oh, that was your hand. <laughs> Guess I knew what those were already. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> ah, I just shuffled. Okay, reveal to others. Top six. There we go. Okay, top deck and or under deck those cards. Um. Let's see. I think I will. No, I'm just going to leave all but one of them on top. So I'm going to move the one that's going to go to the bottom on top, and then I will reveal to others top. One, send that to the bottom. Okay. And I'll put down a Anis the Elder, and I will pass. All right. <laughs> Get a turn. Sure. Um, I don't know what I'm actually gonna be able to do that out of this, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, got the cross he might be in good shape yeah I think, I <laughs> somewhere think somewhere in there you can you can find it <laughs> i know i didn't leave it on top so <laughs> <laughs> um so honestly bad as it's going to be, I'm actually going to have to pass. Alright. I will draw the first and top deck it. <laughs> um, let's see. I guess I don't really want to do that with what I left on top. So, um, let's road. Yep. And I'll grab Jeremiah for my reserve. Mm-hmm. And shuffle that in. Um... And then I will... Oh, oops. Should have done that differently. Um... Yeah, I will just make a rescue attempt with uh, Jeremiah. And Jeremiah. Pretty sure Profane Daughters is the only evil card in your hand, right? You are absolutely correct, so yeah. I'll give you a soul. Just, uh... 
making sure so I don't have to actually look. Um, all right, then I will pass a turn. Alrighty, all three. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I left you some good stuff, huh? You did, but it's, well, not in this <laughs> situation. <laughs> Um, I honestly probably should have left the card that I underdecked too. Now that I think about it, but may... <clears throat> well, let's see what we can do here. Um, so we're gonna go with the watchful servant. Mm -hmm. Um. Go ahead and draw three. Yep. Oh um, man, man two. Under deck that guy. <laughs> Unique gold testament hero, which will be Jerris. Uh, mm -hmm. I am gonna reveal my son of God to you. Nice. Um, and then I'm going to get Jerris's daughter out of reserve. Um. And I'm going to top deck her to toss the next. Okay, so you negate other cards in battle and tossing the next evil enhancement played. Um. Let's see. Alright, so I will block with the Sanhedrin. Yep. I will ban to Pharisee and a Sadducee, which will be uh, Ban is the Elder is the Sadducee, and the Supercilious Scribes is the Pharisee. Okay. And. <clears throat> Um, because you use the search ability to ban it, you ban it to, yeah, Jairus' daughter yep. from reserve, right? Yep, I did. Yeah, okay, so. So, yeah, he, so he's the side to see your CBN. Yep. yep. Um, so then I will under deck, I guess, these two meek colossals. Okay. And ban to the brood of vipers. Mm -hmm. And let's see, you can exchange a good card from hand with a card from reserve. Um, sure, I will exchange reverence and awe for. Um, But toss is good. I guess that sort of does. We'll do Romans Destroy Jerusalem. Okay. Alrighty. Um. So let's see. We got three twenty-six. Um. Twenty-eight. Um. So that's my initiative. Yep. Let's go with teaching and parables. Um, I'm going to reserve your brood of vipers. Uh, and negate. It's negated by Jairus, right? Do what? That's negated by Jairus, though, right? It is correct. You are correct. Well, actually, so they're actually all. I forgot about that. They're all going to die. Ooh, I'm on fire tonight. <laughs> well, um, I think that this deck yeah. might be, I, m I might have undersold it a little bit. It, it does seem to work as well as it looked on paper. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'd say so. As long as I get to go uh, first um, and, and not be disrupted, I guess. But 
Let's put that down, and yeah, we'll pass to you. All right. Draw a few lost souls. Top deck <laughs> the first. Um. I guess I could have done that. Um. I will. Oh man, that. that... What you created here, Jaden, is like wow. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's kind of nutty. I'm kind of like, I mean, if it is this consistent, then it might be. It, it might change the way that high places and the first interact when when multiple lost souls enter. I don't know. Right. And see, I thought that high places was it was um. I guess at like well, this is when Lost Souls put in play. I, I read it as to where like if more than one come out at the same time, it's just one. But oh yeah, no, no. So it triggers for each one, kind of like Joshua. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, but with the first, then it basically makes it so that oops, uh, so that you draw one plus two times the number of meek Lost Souls that enter play. Right. So you know, unless your opponent is, is also playing me Colossals and, you know, 13 in a 7 loss hole deck. Um, Alright, so I'm going to... Um, does that have a... No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, I'll play Emmaus Road to grab the Coming Prince from my reserve. Yep. Uh... And then we'll go ahead and play that to top deck the first sacrifice from my discard pile. Mm-hmm. And draw it with Jeshua. And then we'll play that to take a peek at what you got there. Sure. Hmm. Found some goodies. Yeah, but I think I think it might be a turn too late for some of these goodies. <laughs> no, potentially. Um, I think we're gonna have to get rid of this fella. Oh yeah. Um, there's none. Um. Then I will. Negate a good card this turn. Band or something like that. You gotta have that unsuccessful in reserve, I have to imagine. Um. So I think what we do is uh, just yeah I'll um ah oh, man yeah I guess I'll just attack with uh, Jeremiah here or tossing the next huh yep. You're drawing your whole deck, so it's just a. Are you playing Angel? So I'm gonna get blocked with Profane. Mm hmm. And I will take Unsuccessful. Makes sense. Um, let's see. If Block is successful, we'll check your profile playing good dominance till the end of their next turn. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I completely forgot how this card worked. Um, hmm. Uh, my initiative? Yeah, I think so. 
Um, Hoss is the next one. Remind me, Toss, um, the attack is going to equal to what is being tossed, correct? Right, yep. The, the toss decreases an opposing character by XX, where X is the strength. Okay, so if the, if the attack doesn't have anything, then it'll be 0-0 zero, zero, toss. Right, yep. Okay. Well... All right, so I'll toss unsuccessful. Oh, interesting. Um, uh, um, there's a small method by madness, but it's probably not. Well, all right. Then, yeah, no, it's still mine. No, I'm trying to uh, think of what this this last guy does. I suppose if if you use that to negate it, then we come back and can see that. Um, hmm. Um, I'm going to play Voice from Heaven. Sure. And I will, uh, we'll banish, let's see, any number of cards from reserve, so let's do one, two, um, Oh, we might want that. Um, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just do three. All right. And then we'll go over to your reserve. Mm hmm. And we'll uh, we'll do this guy, that thing, and mm. we'll do gold shield. Okay. And then I already removed my discard pile. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, all discard piles. Yeah, that's mine too. Except good dominance. Uh, okay. Deep. 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 Oops. All right. There we go. Oh. Back to your initiative. Yeah, back to mine. Let's um. All right. Uh, fear of man. Um. I guess I'll just negate Akeem. Okay. Um, and I'm going to ban to your Sanhedrin. Mm hmm. And then I will ban to. As my. Let me read these guys. Let's go with the plotting priest as my Sadducee. And My fair Pharisee 
will be the super, how you say that, scribes. Super silly scribes. <laughs> yeah, super silly. Yeah, we'll go with that. Super silly scribes. Um, so plotting priest. I uh, believe you did. You, you did use a search ability. Um, yeah, that's only if I use like uh, a search ability after you control him, though. Oh, okay. Is it? Yeah, it's, or it's not. Or otherwise, it would be if opponent used a search ability. Yeah, that's true. The, okay. Yeah, so that's more of like um, a territory class thing, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and then the super silly scribes, which is probably what I'm going to call them from now on. <laughs> uh, Combans of Pharisee sent you exchange a good card. Good card from reserve. You put uh, Son of God in your reserve? I'm thinking about it. I mean, am <laughs> I, if I'm if I'm going big, I'm not going to go home. Keep it safe in there, yeah. Yeah, so let's uh can ban to a Pharisee or Sadducee. Let's um look back at my hand. Yeah, let's ban to um And it's the elder. Yep. And he can ban to a unique, which I don't think there is one. That's out. Well, the brood of vipers is unique. If you. Oh well, then that's uh, might as well. And we'll go ahead and if blocking you mitigate under deck the card of territory. We'll go ahead and under deck. Let's just do. Joshua. Okay. And I can exchange with a Pharisee or a Sadducee. Uh, I'll leave him out there. All right. Uh, some initiative. Yep. Cool. Uh, I will let him die, but then I will top deck him. Sure. Made like uh, way way too many mistakes for having perfect knowledge and uh, all of the cards in my deck available to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I figured if I tossed Fear of Man, it would put Jeremiah low enough where you would have an issue to play something. So the yeah, best sure. would, was to ban all that man by tossing the zero and. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, the banning part of that. Um. Let's see. All right, I'll play wages, and I'm gonna grab Sheol from reserve. Yep. Send wages to the bottom. We'll uh, put down Sheol, and hmm, that's another thing I could have done. Just all these things. All right. Well, <laughs> well, you said it's the first time playing. You'll you'll figure out those things and go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Um. All right. Well, I will pass the turn. Alrighty. I'm amazed I've lasted this long. <laughs> um. Well. Uh, we'll use Jerris Star Ability Reserve the top card deck, which, if I am right, should be Jeremiah. That is correct. All right. Um. All righty. Um. Uh, you've got that like huge, huge banding thing over there. for me. <laughs> I've only got four <laughs> cards in my hand. I Yeah, but <laughs> I, I know you've got a big old, and I don't think I have any for Nero either. Who's like just waiting to attack. 
He's just chilling. Yeah. Ready for you. Well, let's go ahead and put um, Good Samaritan down. Mm-hmm. Alright, so let's go with Faithful Servant. Yep. They ban to a New Testament, and I'll just ban in the Jairus' daughter, and I will not top deck her. Alright, so you are 6, 12? Seems right. Hmm. Um, yeah, I guess I will, yeah, you're, you're banding, but I'm going to block with Nero anyway. And the opponent's dominance. Okay, so that's Leave that my initiative. Um, yep, stalemate. All right, well, amazing faith. Mm -hmm. I will negate Nero and all the cards and search my... This card is just... <laughs> <laughs> amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. It's just, when the more I read it, it's like, you know, wow, you, you, it's, it's CBN as well. I mean, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Angel... And then I'm just going to play an angel. Alright. So he is discarded. Um, I will... Got three cards in hand now. Um, yep. Yeah, I'll go ahead and discard my shield now that I have unity. Yep. And... I'll vanish my Nero mm -hmm. to add, uh, we'll add the Sanhedrin <laughs> and we'll do this whole deal again where we'll abandon Annas, make my stuff, uh, my Sadducees, CBN, under deck, uh, two lost souls. Mm -hmm. And to uh, Brood of Vipers, which will negate an underdeck Good Samaritan. Yep. And. Uh, let's see, I can exchange a good card with a card from Reserve, or I can band. Um. I will just ban to plotting priests, and I will take. Uh, I'll take strike the shepherd from reserve. All right, sounds good. And that will do it. Um, and I will the AOC. Huh? Dodge the AOC. <laughs> yeah. I uh, wish I had it. Uh, I'll they'll die with Jairus' star. We'll get top decked. Okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting to use my high places to exchange lost holes. I suppose I could could be doing that. Cool. What is this? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I mean, that way we both have different kinds of meats when it's you know, each other's side. Yeah, and then when I keep uh, when I under deck mine, then they go under your deck instead of my deck so <laughs> oh i mean that's, that's i hear it might be a viable strategy though theoretically yeah <laughs> uh then i'm gonna pass my turn all right i will draw three got the first uh so i will uh well i guess first before the first i will use the star on emmaus road to look at your hand sure Sanhedrin of your own <laughs> and the wages of sin. Oh boy. <laughs> um, okay. You'll 
to others. None. Uh, then I will use the first to draw one, which is a lost soul. Another lost soul, and top deck the first. Um, so you get to band and do all that stuff. Um, but. I really thought you were going to play Angel and Profane and. <laughs> no, I decided, decided not to run the Angel. Um, sure, why not? Since I keep forgetting to do it. And on the other turns, we'll go ahead and discard my water jar to reserve the top three of your deck. Sure. Uh, reveal to all players top three. Oh, there's my brood of vipers. <laughs> With a coon. Yep. <laughs> those, are, those are ones I like to see gone. Don't mind that. Uh, I won't bother drawing with Psychar. Um, Alright, you ready for this play? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Pretension mm -hmm. and reserve my Eliud and my Noah. So those will go to reserve. And I will not reveal. Uh, and then I will play Faith, go grab Noah, and shuffle mm. that. Um, I think, yeah, he's the best option right now. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Then I'm going to turn over this Great White Throne, which I should have activated last turn. And I will... Um, Very nice. Yeah, thanks. I'm going to attack with Noah, convert him mm -hmm. to Meek prevent cards, and I will shuffle, um, I guess I don't have to shuffle a card, um, I think you actually want to, the play is the shuffle Great White Throne. Uh, it's, you know, that's tempting, but, uh, <laughs> I think I will not do that for now. I will, I will not shuffle anything. Okay. Alright, let me look at my play here. It's a good thing that Brood of Vipers is uh It's not, not as good as Joshua. <laughs> yeah, not not quite as good as Joshua. <laughs> he's still pretty good, but he's yeah. Yep. Hmm. Well, I know I'm definitely bringing out Sanhedrin. Yep. Because otherwise, I'm just giving you a soul, the fifth soul. Who do you choose? Hmm. And then I believe... Blocking, you may take an anti-black enhancement from reserve. Or deck if you control only cost soul. So they are going to be prevented, even with Annas, because he only says your Sadducees cannot be negated. Uh, so only ones that you own and control will be CBN. Okay. Alright, um... Where's that one? Um, if... So I actually don't think that does that one doesn't work. Uh, that one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. 
doesn't work. So I think the best bet is just to go with Anis and Rota Vipers. Um, I think that's what I got right there. All right. Uh, would you like to under deck a good card? Mm, I don't think it'll matter, but we can under deck. Uh, let's under deck Melch in the deck. Okay. All right. Uh, I can discard a evil card in territory. So I'm going to discard my aliens to force you to withdraw all but one evil character. <laughs> well, let's withdraw that, and let's withdraw mine, and I'll leave the brood vipers in. Yep. Alright, uh, I will play an Emmaus Road. Make me a 13 14. Alrighty. I'll do Wages of Sin to make me a 14 14. Mm hmm. Uh, I've got the palm line. Make me a sixteen, seventeen. Right. I'm gonna ask for Dominish. Go for it. I'm getting at least one. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, you got I that will, there. I will not. Uh, not take that from you. <laughs> well, and then that, you know, I'll die by the numbers then. All right. Give you your last soul. Good game. That was, I was, that was, uh, was a little worried there when I kind of messed up a few things, like a few ways to rescue, and um, you know, I had Persistent Widow in my reserve, and you know to to recycle some of my NT enhancements from discard pile, and then I played my Voice from Heaven, and I was like, wait a second, oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, those we had pretty similar defenses, like. Using kind of a lot of the same stuff, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think okay. I went more more to the gray. You went more to the black, uh, black part of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I was just. I mean, I realized that the like so high priest plot, then surreptitious scheme, and wages of sin. They're just like all super good. So if I have you know both the the black and the gray, then I can you know surreptitious scheme gets me to wages to high places as he saw. Right. And then, um, you know, the other way around, too, wages gets me to surreptitious scheme, which gets me to, like, crowd's choice or burial or, you know, just yeah. kind of crazy that the way that those interact. So, I don't know. I feel like this is, I mean, I've done enough, like, gold fishing and stuff where it seems like it's, it's fairly consistent. Um, you know, this one was actually a little bit, Close. Like if I hadn't hit harvest time off of that Balaam's prophecy, then I would have been in trouble. I think. Right. Um. Or and also finding the surreptitious scheme off Balaam's prophecy. So I was kind of rolling the dice a little bit, searching for Jeshua with Crowd's choice. But I guess you know maybe not too much because Jeshua is always the right choice, right? right. Oh, <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, I agree. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like with a, a better reserve like I mean I just I literally built this deck with like z zero cards in the reserve and then I was like okay well here's what I'm going to want after you know with the goal of decking out on turn one here's what I'll want on the next right. turns and I feel like if that can be built a little bit better then this is like a lot more consistent I don't know or maybe if I just played the deck a few more times and you know, remember to activate Great White Throne or realize right. the line with uh, Pretension and Noah sooner. But yeah, yeah. I also um, I don't remember how many times I banded in your Anus, but um, I skipped over the part of blocking. You can under deck two Meek Law Souls and oh right, yeah, yeah. And I see I have three out right now, so I know it was at least twice that I could have put both of them or pretty much all of them underneath and. Right. Um, um, there. Yeah, that's a good call. I'm not sure if I necessarily had a way around that. 
Uh, I didn't catch it until like after you like I was just looking at him just now and like I was like oh man I missed I skipped over that line like right yeah that's the tricky thing with with this deck I guess maybe there should be a wall of protection in reserve or something because you know if I'm kind of relying on my soul gen just to be the one time harvest time get all their lost souls out then if they have a way to shuffle them or something then that right really well you hit, and you hit my bear early on right yeah yeah. Yeah, I was. I, I knew that I couldn't let that stick around. <laughs> <laughs> I I think it's very consistent. It was very fast. I mean, I've never seen other than Daniel Eyes to see you go deck out like that. I mean, <laughs> right? Yeah, and you get to you know use non Daniel cards. So exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. We're just with like. So now now we've got uh, what Solomon's Dream, Plumbline, Spirit as a Dove. <clears throat> play any of those on Noah and oh yeah, you know, go get whatever you want. I guess as long as you have Joshua out, but yeah, it's yeah, uh, so. it's pretty consistent so far. I've done a, a few. There there was one test draw where, um, they're like I was I was just doing a couple test draws the other night because I was actually I was telling Chad about this because he, you know, kind of brought up the the high places harvest time, right you know, stuff and. So I did a test draw and I, uh, you know, got everything on turn one the first time, and then the second time uh, I drew the first, and it was my only lost soul. And I was like, oh, well, that doesn't really <laughs> bode well. <laughs> uh, I guess you could still do burial to to you know underdeck it, but then if you draw any other meek lost souls, then you can't underdeck right. those. So. And for for everybody that's watching, if you're building meek souls, no hopper. <laughs> <laughs> yep, don't use hopper. I mean, if you're if you're using like but, unity stuff, like the first lesson you know. learned in that. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because like I'm working on something right now that's like um, trying to abuse Matthew, who can just draw like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very abusable <It's>, card. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm tr um, working with Luke actually. Hmm. Um, me and him are working together to try to get him Matthew like turn one pretty right. consistent to go in and kind of do what you did but not just like draw a bunch and just like kind of get through your deck and yeah. for a second there I thought you were going to go to the cross um, <laughs> I was like he's going to do something and mill me out and then play the cross and then <laughs> <laughs> if only that that would be <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe a classic deck I could figure that out if I uh I don't know. I mean, maybe with the same kind of offense you have, but instead of this uh, Pharisee of the Sadducees of the Egyptians in there. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I mean, it would yeah, it'd take yeah, a few turns. Quite a bit to... too, and then they can start um, under, or milling. Yeah, I think the problem would just be like not having access to the, the consistency cards that you need on, on defense. Like, yeah. You know, these enhancements and, you know, yes, yeah. high priest plot. And... Yeah, and that was... Yeah. I realized, like, oh, I should definitely be playing False Prophecy because if I, you know, do get everything on turn one, like Teaching in Parables and High Priest Plot, then it's kind of like a love at first sight sort of thing. And right. The yeah, same as Impartial Judgment. Oh, um, yeah, for sacrifices in there, too. and Yeah, so then, yeah. you know, you just use Balaam's Prophecy to stack their top and make sure that, you know, they don't draw anything that's too crazy uh which right. yeah i definitely forgot about the the draw ability on uh watchful servant because <laughs> i i underdecked your angel of the lord which i don't know maybe i shouldn't have been too worried about with all my banding and, right uh, yeah definitely did not think about and it's watchful so funny servant. that that's what you underdeck too because like right when you were, you were like finished said you were finished up eating and i was making some last minute changes i dropped grapes for angel oh <laughs> really yeah <laughs> Yeah, that grapes would have been not yeah. good for me. <laughs> I was like, nah, I think I'm gonna drop grapes and put Angel back in. And although I guess Angel did work out better for you in that Amazing Faith, yeah, battle, because you know grapes would have not done you a whole lot there. I guess I wouldn't have had to burn my shield. Yeah, because then I would end up shuffling my hero too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks Good. for putting up with this. And oh, no problem. Being a, a guinea pig for what? What I don't know. Maybe I'll title the video like, "Is this the next Love at First Sight or something?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Lo Love at First Sight Part Two. Yep.
something like Especially that. this time, your opponent can still play. <laughs> Maybe I'll call it love at the first sight. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. There we go. Yeah. That's... All right. There we go. Coming up with ideas in during the video. That's, that's how we do it. All right. Do what? I said coming up with ideas during the video. That's how we do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's exactly it. Improv. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for thanks everybody for watching and thanks again for joining Rob. Yep, no problem.